Hi, welcome to the lecture on the Medical Device Regulation EU 2017-745-MDR and EU 2017-746-IVDR. I've explained that there is three medical device directives that have governed the marketing of medical devices on the European marketplace. This means how to gain permission to manufacture and sell a medical device for the European marketplace. I will now discuss the regulation. Please remember, in order for you to understand one of the important reasons the European Commission is changing from a directive to a regulation, it was explained in the introductory lecture. If you have not studied that lecture, I would recommend you do so. To summarise, a directive is a goal that the EU lay out. It is the responsibility of the member state to interpret that goal and therefore create a national law to adhere to that directive. A regulation is different. The European Commission creates the law and it will get directly transposed into each member state's national law. There is no room for interpretation. The European Commission would rather set directives as it does not want to impose on each member state's sovereignty. What are the learning outcomes? Understand the EU 2017-745 Medical Device Regulation and the EU 2017-746 In Vitro Diagnostic Regulation. Let's look at the detail again. The MDR means Medical Device Regulation. The second regulation means the European Union In Vitro Diagnostic Regulation. It was passed in 2017 and it was the 746 regulation of that year. These little details help you to understand regulation. Timelines for the new regulation. We will examine the timelines for the regulation and I will explain how the timelines have changed due to the impact of COVID-19. Differences between the regulation and the directive. The In Vitro Diagnostic Directive IVD 9879 EC will be replaced by the In Vitro Diagnostic Regulation 2017-746. The regulation was passed by the European Commission in 2017. The Active Implantable Medical Device Directive 9385 EEC and the Medical Device Directive 9342 EEC is being replaced by the Medical Device Regulation 2017 745. The Medical Device Regulation 2017 745 and the In Vitro Diagnostic Regulation 2017 746 was adopted on the 5th of April 2017 by the European Commission and published in the official journal of the European Union, May 5th, 2017. Once the regulation was published in the official journal of the European Union, May 5th, 2017, it came into force 20 days later, which in this case was 25th May, 2017. The medical device regulation, 2017-745, was to become mandatory for manufacturers on the 26th of May, 2020. But, Due to the COVID pandemic, this date was pushed out by one year to the 26th of May 2021. The In Vitro Diagnostic Regulation will still be mandatory in May 2022. The European medical device industry will undergo significant change as a result of the new medical device regulation and In Vitro Diagnostic Regulation. The medical device manufacturer needs to get ready for this. As the name suggests, it is a regulation and no longer a directive, and all medical device companies have to adhere to this new regulation. Companies not following the new rules will no longer be allowed to sell their medical devices in the European Union. There is a transition time for manufacturers and key stakeholders in this process. As previously mentioned, the Medical Device Regulation 2017-745 and the In Vitro Diagnostic Regulation 2017-746 came into force on the 25th of May 2017. From that period, there has been a transition time to allow medical device manufacturers and regulators to implement the new medical device regulation. 
Medical Device Regulation 2017-745 was postponed to May 2021 due to COVID. The in vitro diagnostic regulation 2017-746 deadline is still May 2022. The European Commission provides good detail around regulation. This template is a nice example of their guidance. It is attached to the resource to this lesson. Let's have a closer look. Are you ready? Let's start with the top left hand side of the template. The medical device directive and the active implantable medical device directive certificates are valid until their date of expiry. You can still obtain a cert of compliance under the directive until that date, i.e. the 25th of May 2021. Now, I want to draw to your attention the bottom left hand side of the quadrant. From the 26th of May 2017, devices that conform to the medical device regulations may be placed on the market. This would have been challenging to do in the initial period for two reasons. There was a bottleneck with the amount of notified bodies in the European Union that were certified to carry out compliance audits adhering to the 2017-745 regulation. The notified bodies and the competent authorities were getting trained and familiar with the new regulation. The second reason was that the manufacturer was also learning and getting familiar with the new regulation. There was examples of medical device companies in Europe that were certified to the new regulation before the initial May 25th, 2020 deadline. Drawing your attention to the timeline on the bottom of the template, the medical device regulation applies from the 26th of May, 2021. Postponement by one year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Examining the bottom right-hand side of the template, it indicates that from May 2024, all devices placed on the market must be in conformity with the medical device regulation. Looking at the top right-hand side of the quadrant, certificates issued under the AIMDD and the MDD before the medical device regulation fully applies may remain valid until the 25th of May 2024 under certain conditions. These conditions will be explained. The European Commission provides good detail around regulation. This template is a nice example of their guidance. It is attached as a resource to this lesson. Let's have a closer look. Are you ready? Let's start with the top left hand side of the template. The in vitro diagnostic medical device directive certificates are valid until their date of expiry. You can still obtain a cert of compliance under the directives until that date, i.e. 25th of May 2022. Now, I want to draw to your attention the bottom left hand side of the quadrant. From the 26th of May 2017, devices that conform to the in vitro diagnostic regulation may be placed on the market. As, pre as mentioned previously, this would have been challenging to do. Drawing your attention to the timeline on the bottom of the template, the medical device or regulation applies from the 26th of May 2022. Examining the bottom right hand side of the template, it indicates that from May 2024, all devices placed on the market must be in conformity with the in vitro diagnostic regulation. Looking at the top right hand side of the quadrant, certificates issued under the in vitro diagnostic directive from the 25th of May 2017 expire latest by the 27th of May 2024. From the 26th of May 2024 to the 27th of May 2025, IVDD devices already placed on the market may continue to be made available to the end user. What will the change bring? Harmonization. Once the law or regulation is formulated, it becomes law in each member state, even overrules existing national laws. The same rules will apply for each member state in the European Union for the marketing of medical devices. The regulation will improve transparency with more post-market events reporting from manufacturers. The regulation will be more orientated around clinical evidence and the performance of the device will be continually assessed. Proving product traceability is another change. The implementation of the unique device identification system 
and the new database you made will help with traceability. Other items to take note. Both of the new regulations retain the existing principles and fundamental components of the current regulatory system. Each element is strengthened and better defined. These improvements are based on experience of implementing the existing directives since the 1990s. To identify gaps or weaknesses in the existing system, notified bodies will go through stringent auditing. In light of technological and regulatory developments in the medical device sector. What have we learned? We understand the EU 2017-745 Medical Device Regulation and EU 2017-746 In Vitro Diagnostic Regulation in a little bit more detail. We understand the timelines of when the regulation will come into force. Thank you.